Peggy 18. When the player first gets to see Talos One, something horrible just happened. Talos One, when you first arrive, is not the beautiful testament to modern industry that it normally is on a day-to-day -day basis. It's been taken over by this alien species, and you don't really know why. You were part of an experiment, and some aliens, called the Typhon, have managed to escape containment, and so Obviously, it's going to be a tough time for people on board. If you imagine the outbreak as this like wave, the player's just moments behind the wave. And because of that, you'll find people that are still alive and they're like, Morgan, what is happening? What are we going to do? How are we going to get off the space station? Tell us when space station is an amazing sandbox. We have a huge diversity of locations from things that feel like corporate offices, dormitories, industrial areas, then you can go outside the station and float around in zero-g. I mean, it's just really cool. And we have spaces inside the station that have zero-g. There are some spaces where you can't breathe. There are spaces that are filled with hazards. The aliens are just one of the threats to the player. The station is also a threat. We wanted to communicate just how wealthy and ostentatious and powerful Transtar is as a company. It's a private company. They're not going to be like stripped out utilitarian, especially if they want to attract all the brightest minds up there. The materials that you find are very uncommon to what you would expect in space. It just goes to show that they spared no expense to ship the marble and the wood and the gold up into outer space. They didn't just fake it. We also went over the top in terms of size and volume of that place mm -hmm. because that's the ultimate luxury right when you have a space station you have like a lot of space just here to impress the visitor it's not all the shiny veneer of the corporation right the space station is built in layers kind of like an onion and the closer to the center you go the more you get to the actual reason why the space station is there you get to the laboratories and the secret stuff that they don't want everyone to know about we call it an open space station game it's like an open world game Eventually the player has the means to go all over the space station. And you can go outside, you can fly around the station without any limit to what areas you want to see around the space station. Each level has something different about it, which makes it really special. That each one felt like it had a bit of a unique identity, but still belonging to a whole. 